Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show a simple way how you can easily use Afterchip for your Shopify app store. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is when you're going to access Afterchip, uh, you want to click here add application. When you're going to click add application, you need to like connect it with Shopify. And let's just wait until it's going to get connected and I'm going to show you what you can achieve with it. So, welcome Marcus Stone. I'm going to uh, cancel this. And now, welcome Marcus Stone. Here's what's happening with your shipments in the last 40 days. Uh, zero expectation shipments to check. Expired shipments. This is like the dashboard when you're going to see literally everything. On the left side, you would see shipments that you would have with your customers, you can simply go to the top right, add a shipment and you would have a, add a tracking number, career, origin, destination and the customer here. So career, origin, let's go with, I will just create my own name and email like this, save shipment. And then you would have the shipment right here and the status would be pending. You can update the status and you can mark it as a delivered or return to sender or as a lost. In notifications, uh, you would have like sent from email and to customers, you can enable email, you can enable SMS, in transit, out of delivery, you can enable everything here so uh, your customers will be notified and this is really important to have it. So in my perspective, in my opinion, this is really like important. I have e-commerce stores sending me things and they are not reminding me things like this is when you were gonna like order things from Alibaba or AliExpress. And I don't really get so many notifications what is actually happening with my order and it's good to know that someone cares for me and someone values you to send these things. So this is for me really important. Then you give like tracking pages and I'm going to preview track order status. So you would have a tracking page and created in which you can easily just cross sell some product and I can add a tracking page. So you need to choose a plan here but uh, it's going to track you. So that's really good. And you can preview it, how it looks like. Track order status. So we are preparing the order for shipment and this is how it works. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You can have also tracking app here. So this is the another thing what you can do and have the analytics here as a shipment transit time notification tracking page customer reviews and then you have like order lookup widget here uh, that you can like see the preview on the right side and you see how it looks like order number email tracking code and this is how it pretty much works look at this You would have add a code here, track your order, and someone can easily just track on the order on your website only by just adding the code here to your page on Shopify. So we all have a video here how you can simply do it, but this is another thing of what you can achieve and how you can use Aftership. And this is like really great tool for your customers, and I recommend using it. Uh, because in my opinion, it's them effective. So again, let's just go step by step and I will show you how we can achieve it. So online store page. Then what I would do is let's go step by step. First, let's edit lookup options, both order number and email tracking number. If you have only tracking number, you will have tracking number of both landing page URL. That's this one button style. We can have a green one 
or like blue. You can hide the icon or have the icon here. Size, we can go with a large. And then <clears throat> when you edit it, you go to Shopify pages. Add a page, add a code, and this is going to be tracking code. Or track your code. And you copy the code too. And just paste it. And you can add the website SEO is also. And this is how we do it. Now you view the page here. And I need to. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I need to add both. So copy the first one. And copy the second one. And click save. And voila, here you got it. So this is how you can simply add a tracker code on your website and how you can create like an add on here. So it's pretty much it. If you're gonna have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. Using AfterSeal is pretty good. Then you have like connections here. You see that I got connected my account. You see some other applications that you can combine it with. So again, on home, you would have all the data. Uh, my recommendation is definitely enable notifications in AfterShip for your customers. So that's really good. Then you have tracking page. This is the page that you can actually uh, add. Or what you can do is to simply uh, order lookup widget that you can implement and add to your website. So that's another thing what you can actually do. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you're gonna have any questions again, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.